Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by today's title, I have a Dolls Kill swimwear haul for you. So there will be a mixture of different brands. I have quite a few bikinis to show you, so let's just get straight into the video. So as always, I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing. So this one is from Post Girl and, and it's the Peachy Vice High Rise Bikini Set. It's $38 and I did get this one in a size extra, extra large. Okay, so we're going to start off with the top. So as you can see, this one is really big for me. You can't like move the bottom bit, which is a little bit annoying. It's kind of just like stuck there. But yeah, so like I said, it is too big for me. It is like gaping. Everything will kind of be on show, which is a little bit annoying. But I have to get an extra, extra large for the bottoms just because I need the size. But yeah, I do really like the colour. It is obviously a nice peachy colour. It is a textured material and it is quite thin. It isn't double lined, so I don't know if it would be see-through at any point. It's a little bit of a different material for swimwear, but it is really nice. It's still comfortable on the skin. So if I put you guys down a bit, you can see what the bottoms are like. So these are very high-waisted. I can pull them right up into my hips, which I like. It does have this rouge detailing on the side, which you can pull the strings to kind of make it like as tight or as loose as you want it. I've kind of done it sort of a little bit tight, I would say. Um, but yeah, again, same material. They are very stretchy and very comfortable. They're nice on the skin. So this was the perfect size for me because it just fits right. I'll show you guys the back of the top. So you can do these up. It's a little bit harder, so I would recommend doing it before you put the bikini top on. Um, but you can obviously pull them down and uh, tighten them up a bit. The straps aren't adjustable, but there is still a lot of room. Maybe if they had adjustable straps, it would help with the bagging at the front, but yeah. But as you can also see, the bottoms are very full coverage. So if you don't like to have all your cheeks out on show, then these would be perfect for you. But yeah, it is a really nice color. I find it very comfortable. I still find it quite flattering as well because I'm not a major fan of high-waisted bottoms, but I do really like how this one looks on me. Okay, so sticking with the same brand, this is another poster girl one. This one is $38 as well, and it's the Crush Ready for staycation three piece bikini set and I got it in an extra extra large so starting off with the top it is very wide open again obviously it's a really nice bright orange color I didn't even realize that I kind of picked two orange ones from post girl but yeah anyway so as you can see it is a tie bikini so it does tie at the top and around the back I would say it's a little bit big and a little bit small at the same time like I feel like it's very open here but I have to kind of be careful because it does give like a little underboo but it is a nice bikini it's obviously not very supportive it doesn't have any removable padding and it is double lined it is still a nice basic swimwear material so if I show you guys the back so this is what it looks like it's not really in the center but the strings are extremely long and when I look on the model her ones aren't as long as mine so I don't quite know what's going on but yes yeah, so as you can see I don't know why my ties are very wonky but yeah tight at the neck tight at the back very open back I do kind of like bikinis that kind of have a lot more on show and then the back of the bikini is a g-string type bikini which I don't think I realized when I bought the bikini but yeah it's very showy but yeah as you can see it has a nice slight v which I like I find that very flattering on clothing it is obviously a string bikini again which I don't usually tend to go for but I do find this one very flattering it sits up in my waist which I really like as I mentioned this is a three-piece bikini but I don't quite know how this is really supposed to go because if I tie it, for example, I'm not doing it right. It's, there's just like no point. It's going to come off. It's very short. So yeah, this kind of extra bit for me is just a no-go. I kind of just prefer the bikini how it is. If this was a bit longer, then yeah, it might look nice. But again, very short on me. I do have very wide hips, so it's just going to slip and slide. It is that really slinky, silky material that's just going to slide on your skin anyway. But yeah, I absolutely love this bikini. I love the colour on me. I do really like the style and the fit. I do find the extra, extra large is perfect for me. So the next bikini we have is from another brand, which is called Current Mood. This is for the Thrill of It bikini set, and it was $45, and I got it in a size extra extra large okay so this is what the top looks like absolutely love the color you guys know i love green by now however i do find it is a little bit small again it's kind of the same slinky silky material as the orange one i do kind of find the way that it's made is a little bit more like cheaper feeling just like with the stitching and it not kind of like sitting properly but I do like the addition of like the little buckle at the front. I do think that makes it look a little bit more expensive maybe. But yeah, so as you can see, it does kind of have like your boobs all out on show. It's very open on the chest. Again, there's going to be a lot of under boobs. So it's just something to be a little bit more wary of or careful. But yeah, you can undo it from the front. It does have the nice little buckle detailing, but nothing else is adjustable. Yeah, straps aren't adjustable. It's just a plain back. It is just basically another like simple basic bikini. But I do think the style and the colour is very nice. And obviously the little addition here just makes it look a little bit more expensive okay so moving on to the bottom so they're kind of similar to the other ones in a way they are very thin here and they do have like these nice metal o-ring detailing but i do find this fits very well it's a little bit more on the snug side i would say just because i pull it right up into my hips 
But yeah, absolutely love the style of this. I do think it is very flattering and it's a very nice colour on my skin tone. So just showing you guys the back, as you can see the little detailing of the O-rings here again. And because I do pull it up high waist, it does go right up into my cheeks, which is obviously how I like it, how I like to wear them. Okay, so the next one we have is by Delilah. So this is the Total Fish Outer Water Bikini Set. And again, it's $38. I did get this one in a 1X just because I kind of looked at how the model was and she is obviously quite curvy and maybe like around my size so that's kind of why I went for it. When Delilah's bought out this collection which I think was like last year I picked up a top from them which was like in this goldfish pattern just because my surname is a fish and I kind of really like it so yeah so starting off with the top as always again it is just your typical triangle bikini which you can alter at the top and obviously at the back. As I mentioned I did get it in a 1x which I think I could have sized down for the top and got an extra extra large just because it is a little bit more bigger in some areas just because it's kind of like a it is a really nice thick silky double lined material but it's kind of just not got like tons of shape to it. I think it does look really nice at the front obviously again it's showing off a little bit of cleavage but it is still kind of very full coverage in a way but yeah so if you have bigger boobs and this will fit you perfectly just because it does gape a little bit at the side here but so if I come up a little bit closer you can see the little goldfish I just think it's so cute. It's, it is such a different bikini like I don't see any brands kind of doing like goldfish on their bikinis so yeah I really really love the pattern of this one. So the bottoms are like a little bit more on the bigger side for me. I probably could have got away with an XXL in this but again it is tie strings which is something that I kind of don't really wear anymore just because I don't find it really flatters my figure that much and I find like the the front will gape like this is gaping a tiny bit and obviously the back will gape as well like these are gaping a lot just because I've had to kind of really pull them up into the cheeks to kind of get like this high waist bit but yeah obviously you can alter the side so that's what the back looks like so as you can see like it is very gapy and big so I do recommend just staying at like your normal size in this. I would have definitely got away with getting an XXL. But yeah, I do think it's very well made. It is very nice quality. And again, $38 for a bikini isn't too bad, but it is on sale at the moment for about $30. So now is the time to snap it up. All of these brands I am showing you today go from like an extra small or even an XX s to an extra extra large and then they do have some pieces that go from a 1x to a 3x which is this bikini for example so yeah they are very size inclusive these brands okay so this next bikini is from the brand widow i've actually never tried anything from this brand but it is just a simple black bikini so i did want to pick it up so this is the sea of darkness lace bikini set again 38 dollars, and i picked it up in an extra extra large okay so i only have the top on just because the bottoms don't really fit so it is just a simple triangle type bikini again it is a halter neck and you can alter the straps and I will show you guys the back in a second but it is like a clasp type one and it's got three hooks which I think is really good because then you can make it as tight or as loose as you want it it is kind of just like a normal bra it just has this nice lace detailing at the bottom which I think is super cute it just it just adds a little something to bikini so it doesn't look just like basic and simple but yeah it is double lined again it's a nice silky material there are no removable pads either and then this is what the bottoms look like they do have like that lacy trim again and they do have like a little bit of stretch to it but it is a very tight stretch for me and I just kind of like can't get them on but yeah the bottoms are so cute so that's what it's supposed to look like on the model I think it's so cute but you can kind of see like it is low waist whereas I like I said before I do like my bikinis high waisted so these kind of just like sit like that on me kind of shows my muffin tops and it's just not as flattering but like the style of this bikini is so cute like I said it just kind of makes a simple bikini not so like basic it is very well made it's nice quality the lace is nice and thick and sturdy as well it's not like thin so I do feel like you know if you accidentally catch it you're not gonna like rip a massive hole in it so just to show you what the it's like so this is the little class so you just like hook it into whichever one you need to hook it into and then obviously just a tie string up at the top okay so the last two are from the brand sugar frill so this one is the art in bloom floral bikini set it was $48 but it's on sale for $38 and I got it in a size extra extra large okay so starting off with the top so this one is so so cute i absolutely love this one i tend to kind of stay away from light bikinis just because i don't find them as flattering on my skin tone because obviously i am quite pale but i couldn't resist this one as you guys can see it does have like these really cute flowers on with like little pearls so i don't know how well they're gonna hold up in water or if they're gonna fall off but again it is just your simple triangle bikini that you can tie at the top and at the back so you can adjust it so that's what the back looks like just kind of like tied it as you can see the strings are much shorter on these ones which i prefer and then while i'm here this is what the back looks like so it does have like these cute little ruffles there and i did kind of like really pull it up into the cheeks just because i do find 
it a bit weird with string bikinis kind of like have to do that to kind of get the strings up high waisted so as i've mentioned string bikinis aren't usually my thing but i've actually picked up quite a few here so yeah i have kind of like tried to alter it and tie it up right up into my waist because obviously that's how i like to wear it and then at the front it does have like flowers at the bottom and it does have the ruffle detailing here which is so cute and i just think this one is a really nice girly cute bikini so yeah absolutely love this one the top just kind of like sold it for me and i do really like it with the strings as well like i said i'm not usually a major fan but i do find this one is very flattering and it comes up a lot higher here and i do think the ruffle detailing as well kind of just flatters it a little bit more on my shape so next we have a swimsuit which is the only swimsuit i picked up so this is on a whim mushroom print swimsuit it was 40 dollars. i got it in a size extra extra large and this one is also from sugar frills as i mentioned starting off like the top half so it is thin strapped they are adjustable as well and it is just this really nice flowery mushroom print it is mostly white with like some other like pastel colors but yeah i absolutely love this one it is a bit more like showy off so i've kind of like tied the string around the front which is not how they do it on the website but because i am like a little bit bigger than the model they've kind of like wrapped it around twice but i am a little bit bigger so i can't kind of do that so i've just kind of pulled it round and just tied it at the front so you can kind of wear that a few different ways if you wanted to it's very very open i love it because it shows off my figure shape and it's just a little bit more of a flattering swimsuit compared to like some of the other ones i've tried so this is what it completely looks like like i say it kind of feels like i'm a little bit naked to be honest just because there's kind of like nothing here it's very open it is a really weird swimsuit when you pull it out because it's all kind of open so it does just have like a really small clasp here which, like i said straps are adjustable and then i really pull it up into the bum cheeks as i mentioned just because that's how i like to wear it, it is a little bit more bigger because i've done that so yeah very cheeky and again kind of very open on the back it looks like a bikini from the back and then obviously from the front it is a swimsuit okay so they were all the items i picked up if i have to recommend any it would definitely be this swimsuit the light pink bikini that i showed before this one and definitely the bright orange one if you are a little bit more risky and like to have your cheeks on show i will leave all the items down below in the description box if you want to check any of them out let me know in the comments below which was your favorite one so if you guys did enjoy this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video